hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so this story is still fresh and it's all over the news and uh, i was just here minding my business looking at my looking at my phone and just uh, looking at some stuff eventually the the lady that they said is the the lady that they said is the one that uh, is a uh, bank well it is having this affair with if you don't know what what i'm talking about is a nigerian actor that uh, there's a current story now very popular actor that uh, and he's married and they have a child together. So as of yesterday, the news came out that uh, he was having an affair and the lady was having an affair with his pregnant and the lady doesn't want to take it out. So that's what it is in case you're joining us and you're lost about the story. So there's this, uh, no, I, I was thinking about this whole thing. So apparently people have brought out the name that they think is, they think she's the one and people are bringing up pictures. You see, eh, social media, eh, go, da, be, go. social media. They've dug up the name, the pictures, and everything about this lady. So I went to her Instagram, and I came across one video. That video is quite long. She said it was 6 in the morning, that she's just waking up. And she decided to just wash her face and set the camera and do a live video. And she said she, hasn't, she had not done it in a long time. She was saying some, some part of it, she was saying some deep stuff. So she talked about her parents. She said her parents died within a very short time. I think within, I'll put a link. You guys can check out that video. You know, she said her parents died within within a very short period. I think within weeks apart or months apart, about two months apart or something like that. And she lost her sister. And she was saying a lot of deep things. When I talk about deep, I mean reflective kind of, you know, you could see a lady that was reflecting on her life and thinking deep about her life and... You see, one of the things that shake people is bereavement. And then to imagine losing a father and a mother very close together, losing her sister. And you could see in that video, I'm sorry, that's what I saw. I saw a lady that was, um, how do I say? She was vulnerable as well. From that, she, I would say she, she was a bit vulnerable and I, she looked like, to me, like someone that was questioning life in a way, you understand? And someone that is reflecting very deep. She was saying things about, you know, dying and her father and mother died. By the way, her parents are absolutely gorgeous. I saw a picture of her mother. Her mother is so beautiful. Her father is so, ah, oh, but anyways. And she took her mother's nose. Her mother has this cute, her nose is so her mother has a, a, a cute nose. She got her mother's nose. And um, anyways, and I saw in that video, this lady is, I don't know her age. Let me see her age. Age. Okay. She's 37. She is 37. For a woman of that age, if truly she was ever in a relationship with Banky West and truly they are having a, 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 a secret affair, and she has lost her father, lost her mother, lost her sister. I don't know how many siblings she has. If they are the only ones she has, that means she has nobody left. That can make somebody begin to reflect on life and remember the fact that we're all going to leave. And I'm thinking, this is why I always say about men that are unfaithful, husbands that are unfaithful. You know, I say that the ladies out there are free agents. You as a man is the one that has a wife that has a family. The free agent is free to do a lot of stuff. They are not being unfaithful against anybody per se. Do you know what I mean? It's a man that has vowed, made a marriage vow to be faithful to his wife and all of that. He is the one that owes his wife faithfulness. Da, da, da. But the girls or the ladies out there, they are free agents. And as free agents, you don't know what their plans and aspirations for their lives are. If she, let's not forget though, is a rumor okay but let's look at this aspect if she lost her father lost her mother lost her sister and and is beginning to think so deep about life and she's in a relationship with a man that is married and she loves him what stops such a woman from saying i love this guy i would like to share a child with this guy nothing stops her you know what I mean by nothing stops her? The fact that she is single. And I'll use that word again. She's a free agent. If the man stays with his wife, 
no matter how free that free agent is, nothing will happen. So for unfaithfulness to happen, it takes someone walking away from their marriage to go out there and be unfaithful. I hope I'm making sense. You get my point. So if a lady can, if a lady is reflecting on her life, she's about to be 37, no children, and she if she wants children, typical African Nigerian people will want a child. What if she started sitting down and start saying, you know what, I'm not getting any younger. I want to have a child. And then there's someone always coming here once in a while or twice or three times in a year to come and spill his juice. I love him. I would love to have a child with him. You see how easy it can happen. But if that man is not going to meet her in the U U.S., yes, in the U.S., she can dream all she wants, that pregnancy will not happen. I hope I'm making sense. I'm speaking about the concept of free agent, free person, a single lady or a single guy out there. It is the person that is married that has a lot at stake. What does a single lady have at stake? Nothing really. Social media dragging that today. Like somebody said, he said, you can drag me, you shall can't flog me. <laughs> the day I saw that and I couldn't stop laughing. He said, he said, I said what I said. He, he made the post. I said, he made the post on uh, Twitter. And he said, I said what I said. You, I said what I said. You can drag me. You shark can't flog me. <laughs> you get my point. Because if this whole story is true and she has gotten to the age of 37, she can just, you know, up to the age of 37, no matter what happens, if such a woman can say, if I fall pregnant to have a child with this guy, you know, no matter what they say, my child is still my child. And I'm choosing the right father in her mind. She can say he's the right father. He's not poor. He's educated. He has good uh, standing in society. You understand? My child, even if I'm not around, my child will not suffer because of, because of who his father is. I'm just who his or her father is. Aside, they start to, when I don't, they say he now. Nah, go go to Tutan to boy. It happened to me once. I was narrating a story. I kept on a story. I kept on saying he, he, he. I said, ah, what am I saying he? That was Samuel Bosu's story that time. I don't, I said, ah, maybe it's a boy because he kept on coming. He kept on coming out, coming out of my mouth. And at the end of the day, it was actually a he. So I don't know what he is coming out of my mouth again. But the, 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 the as I said, let me keep doing this disclaimer. If the story is true. So if, the story is true and she, you know, she thinks about the picture, pic picture the dragon and picture a beautiful child that she can at the end of the day say, that's my own. The dragon may mean nothing in comparison with the picture of having a child at the end of the day. You get my point. My message is this. For men or women that choose to be unfaithful, remember that the person out there is free. You are the one that is not free. You're supposed to be tied to your husband or your wife. The person out there has the freedom to dream and aspire and want this and want that. When I looked at that video of this lady and I said to her, I said, if this story is true, I, I think she made the decision to, you know, have a child to call her own. I think she made the decision to, you know what? I'm not getting any younger. I want a child and I'm in this, in this stable relationship because from the way they described it, he was traveling often. And, uh, and I think she just said that, you know what, you know, I haven't, I have nothing to lose. You get my point. She did America. What do I want to do? Not only social media drag, my good dragger. When I look at the whole thing, do you know what it is to get to a point of what is life and then trying to make meaning out of your life? It can happen. And having a child can be. I didn't say it is. Everybody, you see, everybody's way of choosing what life means is different. There are some people that have never married, never had children. And for them, this is the life they dreamt of. And this is what they want. There are some people that they did not marry. They did not marry, but they would have loved to be married. There are some people that they, would, they did not have kids. They would have loved to have kids. When I looked at her profile and I looked at that particular video that I watched, I thought to myself, if this story is true, you know, it almost made me want to feel sorry for her. I'm not going to support unfaithfulness, you know, but 
for somebody to find themselves in a place where they lost their loved ones and are beginning to question life and they're going through some deep stuff and they're not thinking of how to make their life meaningful for them. And then a married man goes there to, in a way, such a person can be vulnerable, let's be honest, and goes there to take advantage of you know, this person will be like, I have nothing left. This guy loves me. I can just manage this. You know, he's married, whatever. It's wrong to do it. But I'm just saying that such a person, do you think people that are in that kind of, I don't want to say depressive. I don't want to use the word depression because people throw the words around so easily. But somebody can be so low in their lives that they just, there's nothing more really. So they don't give a damn about being, you know, uh, being with a married man or not being with a married man. You know, and like I said, they can be vulnerable to the point of, you know, to the point of just take whatever comma or take it like that. His marriage doesn't matter. Let me just have a child. Well, I don't care what world thinks. I don't care what, what you know what I'm trying to say. So I, at this point, this is why I will still blame a man in a situation like that. Because it's possible that if she has, she has lost father, lost whatever, and this is somebody that she has known for the longest in her life, that that relationship may be all she has left. And it took the guy to keep that relationship alive. You know? And it's beginning to not look like a sad age. Like a sad story. I don't even know anymore what to think about it. But when I saw that video, I just saw a lady that I think is... Uh, she's not emotionally in a very good place. She's been through a lot. She's been to hell and back. And uh, that's why a man... That's why a man like that shouldn't have gone near her. Should have left her alone. And hopefully she can find love somewhere. And, uh, you know, I don't know. This story just be as it get, Ujari. It be as it get. I don't know. I saw that I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, as always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.